In this video, we are going to learn about the concept of multiplication of integers. Now, in order to understand this concept, integers are basically, as we know, positive integers and the negative integers. Right? In order to understand the properties of multiplication of integers, what we do is we divide this into two categories. One is when integers with same sign are multiplied. Okay? And the second is when integers with different signs are multiplied. Right? Now, when we say integers with same sign, what I mean is that a positive integer is multiplied by a positive integer. Right? Or a negative integer is multiplied by a negative integer right and when I say different sign what I mean is that a positive is multiplied with a negative integer or a negative integer is multiplied with a positive integer right now when integers with same sign are multiplied what do we do we multiply the absolute values multiply absolute values what we mean by absolute values it is what we saw earlier which means the positive numbers and put a plus sign okay when we do this for the negative and positive integer or ones with different sign we multiply the absolute values just like we did here and we put in a negative sign. So let us take a case or one example of each one of them. Right? So let's say I multiply plus 6 with plus 3. Okay? Or I multiply minus 6 with minus 3. So in both these cases what is happening is that the sign is plus here and plus here it's minus here and minus here right so you have to first multiply the absolute values the absolute value here is 6 here it is 3 so 6 times 3 will give you 18 and because the sign is same so we add a plus here similarly 6 into 3 will again be 18 because the sign are same, we add a plus here. Now, please note that in both these cases, the signs were actually different. Here it was plus, here it was plus, here it was minus, here it was minus. But the rule says that if both of them have the same sign, then the resultant product has to be given a positive sign. Now, what happens in the, if we had plus 6 into minus 3 or minus 6 into plus 3 again the first thing is it doesn't matter what the signs are you do the multiplication of the absolute values 6 and 3 6 times 3 is 18 but because the signs are different we have to put in a negative here similarly 6 3 18 and we put on a negative sign here so just to resummarize what we do is when the same signs are there whether it be positive or negative we put in a positive sign before the product of the absolute values if there are different signs then what do we do we put in a negative sign with the absolute value of the product of two numbers right 
If you like this video, please hit the like button on the bottom. You can also share this on social medias like Facebook, Orkut, etc. and help us create an educated world. Thank you very much.